Hello, good friends. It's the Twy Keen. Welcome to episode two of Harry Potter Quidditch World Cup. Today we're going to start our second series of house challenges, starting with beaters and bludgers. I'm Fred Weasley. My brother George and I, are the team's beaters. This house challenge is about beaters and bludgers. So yeah, beaters and bludgers was something we actually never got to do in the first game. <laughs> so now we're going to learn about how they do it here. Which should be quite a in bit of fun. challenge, you'll be learning how to defend against bludgers. One of your chasers, flanked by two beaters, that is, George and me, will be searching for targets placed throughout the grounds. What the beaters have to do is whack a bludger at each of the targets. Sounds simple enough. Except that once the bludger has hit the targets, it will rebound and see the chaser relentlessly until the beaters can bat it away. Use the broomstick control to explore the area. Press and hold the bludger button and guide the bludger towards the target. So yeah, just this is kind of like when you're trying to find your target, and here's what it's like when you're trying to avoid being hit by a bludger. Unfortunately, I got hit by it there, which is really stupid. <laughs> Yeah, the, the avoiding part of it is much tougher, as you would think. Sometimes spinning around helps, sometimes it doesn't. And I'm pretty much not going to get a good time here. Especially since I got hit by the first one. Or, well, I mean, the third wow, one. We've won a new Quidditch card. Yeah, only one card won. Even though I got hit only once, these targets are pretty difficult to find. And, it's, and you can't get to them fast enough. That, that, that's the one thing about them. But, but otherwise, this challenge ain't too bad. <laughs> we'll go ahead and move on to the next one. <laughs> yeah, wish we wouldn't have to be saving like this every single time, but that's just how it works. And I do believe there is one more challenge before we get on to the next game. Which should be against... Um, Hufflepuff. And yeah, next one is about special Hello, moves. Hello, I'm Alicia Spinett. I'm a chaser for Gryffindor. I'll teach you about dodging and special move tackles. And yeah, the special move scene. This is one of the things that can really um this is a one-on-one -on -one challenge between one of your chasers and our old ghostly friend, Edgar Clogs. Edgar's going to try and take the coffer from your chaser and prevent them from scoring a goal. Edgar's in a particularly troublesome mood, and your chaser needs to employ the dodge to avoid him. Edgar's an oh, expert I think I did it the wrong way. Tackle, I did. And this means it's going to be very difficult for your chaser to keep the coffer for longer than a couple of seconds. Yeah, this is what I was supposed to do earlier. Harry here with a reminder. Press and hold the special move button and steer the target over Edgar. Release there. The Use the dodge button to avoid him. And the shoot button once you're in range of the goal hoops. But yeah, for what you saw right there, it's pretty that that's pretty much a different thing once we get to the regular game. Come on. Okay, I think we'll make a little good time now. Brilliant! We've won some new Quidditch cards. Two of them, okay. Yeah, as far as on um, penalties, I'm kind of surprised there didn't get any. Maybe it was because we never got um a shot blocked <laughs> by Edgar. <laughs> but anyways, we'll move on to our next featured game. Now that we've learned about how to do bludgers and special moves, this next game should be a lot more interesting than that first one. Like special moves in the inventory, yeah. So yeah. Now we can play against Hufflepuff. So you'd like a match with Hufflepuff, would you? Let's play for the Quidditch Cup and may the best team win. So 
So yeah, like I said earlier, this is definitely going to be a little better game. Now I got a summer <laughs> setting. I got a feeling we're gonna see a classic match today. Madam Hooch is the referee today. We're flying. And we win that release too. Okay. Now they should be able to let us use that B special move in a little bit. Dang. Okay. That's better. <laughs> All right, so they got a special move now. Okay, now we should be able to use the bludger here. Oh, long. Shot there. And here comes the. And as you can see, pretty much does it for you right there. We had to do it on our own against <laughs> Edgar Klaus. And another <laughs> long shot. And yeah. As you can see, Hufflepuff's meter is, is pretty much blank. All because they keep on getting hit by the bludger and that also that <laughs> spinning special move. Man, that was a dumb shot. <laughs> so yeah, let's see if we can keep their, sh their shot meter <laughs> at like point blank. Oh, we got the special move now. This is something that only happens very rarely. Just based on the kind of achievements achieved. Yep. So yeah, that's like the easiest goal you'll ever get. <laughs> Should have used the bludger right there, but I'm not going to worry too much. Oh, how did I get intercepted? Uh, just shot it before they could get that bludger at me. Come on. Good steal right there. But I must say, it kind of is going a little bit slower, but at least this game is a little bit more interesting with the bludgers <laughs> and special moves. <laughs> well, we're over 150 now. <laughs> But our meter isn't going up fast enough, and it's because we haven't learned that very last move yet. Hmm. Yeah, I think the longer the pass or the longer the shot, <laughs> the more the niche meter will go up. Whoops. 
Yeah, mm. uh, first time I think uh, that I let them in my own territory. Oh, yeah. Man, I'm getting a much higher score here than... Oh, now we gotta avoid this bludger. Got saved right there. Boom. 200. So it's like I've got big room for error here. And we got that team special move again. The worst thing is though, what, you, could, you have no choice but to watch it. <laughs> over and over again. Yeah, easy <laughs> laying goal there. Oh, man, that keeper didn't get to it quickly enough. Yeah, I wish I really wouldn't be running up the score and everything, but I just feel like that's the best I can do when I have, haven't learned that last move yet. To be able to get a shot at the goal. Okay, just about snitch time. Almost there. Okay, now it's snitch time. And look at the meter now. Definitely much, much bigger than last time. Pretty much what it was in the training session. Come on. Yeah, I got snitch much quicker than last time. Got another shutout. Quidditch fun or what? And please do not take offense to the to how many points Gryffindor scored right there. Please do not. Oh, now look at the right side. Zero, 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 zero. No shots, no saves, no goals, no bludger hits, no special moves. Talk about <laughs> domination. But yeah, I I did not intend to score <laughs> that many points. Whatever that number was. At the moment, Gryffindor is at the top of the league. <laughs> The only opponent left is Slytherin. They, they pretty much, <laughs> they pretty much can't uh, beat us like that. Since they're two games back. <laughs> well, I am going to end episode two here, <laughs> and we will move on to our final video next time, where we learn about combos from Oliver Wood. Hope you guys all enjoyed. Thank you for watching. This has been the Twi King. This has been Let's Play Harry Potter Quidditch World Cup. Next time it's the finale of the Quidditch Cup. Have a great day. So long.